Well, greetings again, and this is the same morning, and we're going to be talking about the future of orthodontics. And this is done on the, this young man here, when I started, was just a teenager, but he grew up and became the, the head uh, law officer in Glen Rose, and is still occupying that position right there. <laughs> and, uh, Several years ago, I was driving down the main highway in the town, and we've got a 45 degree, uh, 45 speed limit on it, and I was going about 48 or something, and, and he pulled me over, and I didn't know who it was, but he came up to the window and he looked at me and he said, do you know who I am? And I looked at him <laughs> and I said, Unfortunately, I do know who you are. <laughs> and he said, listen, you better slow this thing down. I'm not going to give you a ticket this time, but you'll have to slow this thing down when you come through here. So I said, I sure will do that. <laughs> and so it was uh, several months back uh, that that happened. But he had, still the head person in the police department in the town of Glen Rose. Uh, man, when we started out, he was, I think, in his late teens, and he came in, his folks brought him in, and I used a, had an old surgeon help out a little bit in here, and then a restorative person put the crowns and everything on him. But he's only had 19 of the 32 teeth you're supposed to have. So that's about uh, 13 or so teeth he's missing in here. So we'll go ahead and show how we got this going. Let me see if we can change that. And here, looking from the front, you don't see much difference. And now we're into the case already when I take the first picture here, but I'll show his lower teeth went around his upper teeth, and he had a lot of baby teeth left in there, and so we took those baby teeth out, and we took the teeth that were remaining and moved them to the positions that they would need, and we expanded his upper arch and everything to do that. Now, He's got this open bite, and we let it close together like that. And these are fab fabulous things that you can do orthodontically. And I had this old surgeon help this and had a restorative dentist do it and come fix the crowns in his mouth. And we jacked that up, and I tried putting blocks in the back, but I couldn't get it to work that way. So we learned, this was at 89, I think. We moved that up into the front, and now we put the pressure, so these teeth are going up, these are going down, just like these others. As these go down, these go up. You have the same pressure going up that you have going down, and these go down, these go up, you do the same pressure, and you watch this bite just level out. It'll do that, just nature closes this down together. And we widen it out. I'm gonna run through this real fast. And we had him biting in the front, and after a while the teeth got to where they touched and then the restorative man had him back and did wax up the case and fix it like he was going to do it. And we sent him in and he got these crowns and everything and bridges made. Those were temporaries. He had him mounted and, and he went through a lot of extra stuff doing this case, which we learned uh, you can do this just orthodontically if you want to. You don't have to go through that much stuff. But here you've got to have the bridges 
made. So they prepared the teeth that he had left for crowns, and he had bridges made, and little gold crowns for these teeth like this. He had only 19 permanent teeth left in there, and it bridge these spaces in here like that. So here he was later on. And now we finished him out like that. In other words, you took that case like it was and you expanded that up arch and you can do that on everybody. And then they did bridge work, his whole mouth is nothing but bridge work. And he still has those teeth. I saw him not very long ago. Now that fit together, and the bridges were put in there. This is the x-ray when we started in 88, 10 of 88. And he was 19, he was almost 20 years old when we started working on him. And we took the baby teeth out, and he had just these teeth that are all that he has. And it looks like there's about five on the bottom, and uh, four, uh, six, seven, eight on the top. And that's all the teeth that he has in his mouth. And he had those, and he still got them. And he's still operating here in Good Roads. And this is the smile that the man has. And this allowed him, now you can see he's got a little stuff up there that needs to be cleaned, scrape up there and clean those. The crowns are awful white, but they worked out and he still got them here today. And this is a long time he's grown up now but he is still in charge of the police here in Glen, Glen Rose. And I wanted to show this case. And there's where he started, and there's where we ended up. And this makes you feel good, being able to do that for people. And so I wanted to show this case also. So that's the end and I'll say goodbye and thank you for watching.